If you recall back in the G20 and B20, yeah. at that point of time, actually, uh, our president, Joko Widodo, was challenging the Prime Minister of Albanese, saying that, hey, uh, you know, let's build this together on this ecosystem of electric vehicles. The minerals that we have is nickel, mm -hmm. and we need lithium. We do not have lithium. Australia so Australia does. does. Ah. So the question is, how can we do this together? Mm -hmm. Creating value added together, right, between Indonesia and Australia. We are neighbors, always been there, but we never really work or, you know, do business. So will you be meeting government mm -hmm. officials in person? Uh, yes. I mean, yeah. what we'll be signing, actually, MOU on minerals, all right, oh. uh, particularly with Western Australia uh, uh, states, all right, in which we, what we are trying to do is to create this synergy. Okay, to create value added both in Indonesia and Australia. So it's a different models. Here we want to make sure that both we can jointly invest, whether it's in Australia or it is in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. But we require both minerals to actually have for our electric vehicles uh, batteries. Sir, the, the synergy is very clear because, as we know, Indonesia is the biggest, by far the biggest producer of nickel in the world. They dwarf the second one, which is the Philippines, by far. And Australia has lithium, but Australia also has very significant nickel reserves. Could a collaborative partnership with Australia down the road turn into maybe Australia becoming a competitor later on if they decide, you know what, we could actually tap into our nickel reserves and perhaps compete with Indonesia as well. Is that a concern at the moment for you guys? Or no. is, uh, it, yeah. at, at the same time, I mean, we have a market. Indonesia has 270, 280 million people. Okay. And here, I think it's a time for us to collaborate between ASEAN, per se, Indonesia, and even the Philippines. That's why we will be in Manila. Mm -hmm. Actually, we'll be discussing minerals too in Manila. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, as you uh, rightly said, Philippines have minerals, Indonesia have, and then also Australia. And how do we create this? But the market is ASEAN, but more than that is the world. So we want to be, again, the supply chain of the world. And what it is, it is the time for us to actually be able to, you know, uh, jumpstart all this and we say, hey, this is the ASEAN electric vehicles ecosystems.